Hey everyone, how are you? This is Jaime Paredes. Let you know that on June 4th we're holding our social media workshop at the University of Phoenix. The topics of interest will be Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Twitter. I'm here now with Cesar Quintero. He's the owner of fit to go And for the month of May, prior to this workshop, we'll be showing you a small case study on his business. Cesar, how are you? Hey Jaime, how are you? Good, thank you. Cesar, tell us about yourself and your business, please. Well, my name is Cesar Quintero and uh, I'm originally from Venezuela. Uh, I moved here five years ago and I started fit to go um, fit to go is a healthy gourmet lunch delivery service. We cook everything fresh daily at our, our industrial kitchen and deliver uh, to your office or to your home. It's an online based business fit to go meal.com. Our clients usually just register online, uh, pick and choose what they want and then just order online. Um, currently we have around 8,500 clients in our, in our database and uh, you know we're delivering around 600, 650 meals a day. Okay, great. What makes you guys different from every other meal delivery service in Miami? Well, first of all, because we cook everything fresh daily. Uh, we don't use any preservatives uh, and, and do everything as balanced as possible. We have a dietitian and a chef. They came together as a great team um, and we're heart smart, so we're low fat, low sodium and low sugar. So, but, but they achieved very high in taste, thank God. So. Okay, good. Now, what have you done in marketing in the past that has worked, and what have you done that has not worked for you? Well, marketing-wise, we've tried everything. We, we started with sampling, uh, we did some print, uh, direct mailing, we did TV, radio, uh, we, we've done a lot of stuff. Uh, and basically, the, after testing and measuring the different products, word of mouth has always been you know, the, the best source, you know, bringing in 80% of our new customers. Why social media? Why do you think social media might, might positively affect your business? Well, exactly because of that, because I think social media is one of the first you know, marketing tools that focuses completely on, uh, on word of mouth referrals, and it's taking advantage of you know, the, the communication between everybody. Um, and you know, I'm, 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 I'm intrigued as in to how the business can profit from that. Last question, with respect to your expectations, what have you done on social media so, so far in your business? What has provided results and what do you think is, can, can happen potentially in the future? Well, I, I personally have a Facebook page, a Twitter account, LinkedIn. Uh, Facebook I use mostly you know, to, to talk to people who are far away uh, and you know, keep, keep in touch. Uh, Twitter, <laughs> I don't really understand why somebody would want to know what I'm doing at every second of the day, but I, yeah, I still haven't uh, figured that out. Uh, LinkedIn, I know it's the most uh, focused, uh, business focused uh, um, social media out there, but uh, I, ha I really haven't put it to use it either. So I'm, I'm really looking forward on you know to seeing how to use these better and, and you know and, and on the business perspective as well. Okay. Uh, what is your website again? Uh, FitToGoMeal.com. Okay. Thank you very much, Tessa. No, no problem. So don't forget June 4th, we're holding the workshop at the University of Phoenix. Please be there. And for more information, go to www.socialmediatrainingmiami.com. See you then. Bye.